my dear friends now i am taking first question of third semester uh, fifth semester third paper that is k5003 this is the third paper of the fifth semester and what is the question what is the doctrine of estoppel and essential my dear friends this is a very important question what is the definition of estoppel and what are its essential we will take in this question now the definition of doctrine of estoppel there is said to be an estoppel where a party is not allowed to say that a certain statement of fact is untrue where in reality it is true or it is not true again estoppel may be defined as a disability whereby a party is stopped from alleging or proving legal prosody that a fact is otherwise then it has been made to appear by the matter giving rise to that disability my dear friends this is the complete definition of the doctrine of estoppel or you can say the meaning of the doctrine of estoppel now i want to make it clear with the help of an example for example a trustee mortgages the trust property alleging that he is the owner of the property the mortgagee in good faith took the mort mortgage the mortgagee obtained a decree and the properties were sold the trustee filed a suit to recover the property from the auction purchases on the ground that the properties were the trust properties my dear friends as i have said that he has no right on that property because the property was of the trust and he had no power to mortgage them this is also true but it was held that the trustee was stopped from saying that he was not the owner of the property do it might be true my dear friend this is the estoppel he was stopped from saying that he was not the owner of the property do it might be true this is the doctrine of estoppel and i have defined the doctrine of estoppel with the help of example now i am taking the definition of estoppel when one person has act or omission intentionally permitted another person to believe a thing to be true and act upon such belief neither he nor his representative shall be allowed in any suit or proceedings between himself and such person or his representative to deny the truth of that thing now now i want to make it more clear with the help of the example for example a intentionally and falsely leads b to believe that certain land belongs to a and thereby induces b to buy and pay for it the land afterwards become the property of a and a seeks to set aside the sale on the ground that at the time of sale he had no title he must not be allowed to prove his want of title this is the estoppel now this is the definition of estoppel with the help of the example so my dear friend doctrine of estoppel 
with the help of example and definition of a festival with the help of example i have given so i think it is clear to you now i am taking the essential of festival now my dear friends i am taking essential of festival the main ingredients of festival as defined under section 115 that is as stopped in pious or as under first essential is there must be some representation this is the first essential condition the representation in order to form the basis of an estoppel may either be made there are two condition may be made either by first condition statement and second condition by conduct so either by statement or either by conduct and conduct includes negligence certain general propositions are however applicable whatever manner the representation may be made second essential the second essential condition is it must be made with the intention of being acted upon what is second condition it is not necessary that the representation should be false to the knowledge of the party making it provided that first it is intended to be acted upon in the manner in which it was acted upon so now or this is the first condition in second essential and second what is second condition that is now <clears throat> my dear friends the second point of second essential the person who makes it so conducts himself that a reasonable man would take the representation to be true and believe that it was not meant that he should act upon it in that manner for example in b kolema and company versus p das gupta it was held that the doctrine of estoppel by representation is such as to amount to the contract or the license of the making it now this is the second essential of the estoppel now my dear friends i am taking third essential the third essential what is third the representation must have acted upon the representation must have acted upon this is the third essential of the estoppel to invoke the benefit of the estoppel it has to be proved that the representation has been acted upon the representation must have been acted upon to whom it was made estoppel can arise only if a party to a proceeding has altered his position on the faith of a representation or promise made by the another this is the promise made by another promise made by another now i am taking the more about this third representation is my dear friends more about third essential is a representation made to one person cannot be taken advantage of by another person 
to whom it was not made it is not sufficient that the party complaining acted in a manner consistent with the truth of the representation if it appears that he was influenced by it i think this is clear this this is the third essential on the other hand if he really has relied upon the truth of the representation it is no answer to say that if he had thought that about it he must have known that it was untrue so my dear friend i have defined three essential and also the definition also the doctrine of estoppel as well as the definition of estoppel with the help of the example and its essential so this this is the question of third paper and this is a very important question doctrine of estoppel so my dear friends now in the end again i want to make request to you please subscribe the channel i shall be very thankful to you